it's so tough. I mean, Jenny's a he's a pretty pretty smart guy and a very he plays really well. You know, like it's tough. And but then um, they did meows. You know, like he's always there, right? Who's yours? <sighs> Tough one, man. I'm kind of rooting for Johnny in a way. Like I, you know, he's he's been he really deserves. close. He's been there so many times. Yeah. You know, I think Joao or uh, uh, Paul has won so many times. I, I'm a big fan of Marcio Andrea too, by the way. I love his jiu-jitsu. Such a class act as well. Nicest guy. Um, I tend to root for those guys a lot. So you know, I don't know. Kishin too is one of my favorites. Kishin has improved loads in the last year. Absolutely. You know, we'll, be, we'll be following him with the competition, right? And he's uh, a complete ACD fighter, so. right? Like, he's just one of those grapplers. Like, I can do everything. And I, and I respect guys like that. are just not one-dimensional. And he goes for submissions. Yes. Which, is, which I like the most. Yeah, absolutely. And, and nowhere is safe with him. Johnny with the bolo there. And Mantel's Gabriel does exactly what he should do. He keeps that leg straight on uh, Johnny's, on the inside of his leg, on his crotch area. And that stops Johnny from getting that bearing ball from, from the double guard pull, right? Correct. So it's a very simple defense, but very effective. You keep a stiff leg in there, and it just stops him from pull. Because a bolo requires what? It requires closure, right? You have to close that distance. And if put I, the head under the leg. If I keep a stiff leg, it doesn't matter who you are. It shuts you off completely. So basically, gently kick him down there with the stiff leg, shuts him off, and yeah, always works. Matheus Gabriel play the that same double guard pull game with Johnny. Both competitors have one negative each. Lucas Lepre. Lucas Lepre. Johnny looking for that leg drag. Johnny, oh, another negative. The refs have been very, very harsh on penalties for double guard pull and nothing happening. More than in any other position. Like typically standing that happens too. Like nothing's happening. And uh -huh. they're far more patient when it comes to penalties. But when it comes to double, uh, double guard pull, they have not been patient at all. Yeah. They're, like, giving, like, penalties left, right, and center. Like I said, we saw uh, Levy and Leon get disqualified. I was, like, super disappointed about that. I was really looking forward to uh, Levy and uh, Lucas Lepre in the final. That's an advantage for Jenny. Yes. Wow. Nice. Good the triangle. Get it. Good he's defense by Johnny, though. Yeah, he's defending well. He's defending well. But that was a threat. It was, like, a very... Good threat, but um, not the vantage though, for sure. Johnny's still ahead of the game for the going on top of the on the double pool. See how dangerous they are on the bottom. Like it's so crazy. That's why they all double pool. Absolutely. I mean, and, and you gotta you gotta you gotta love Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, right? It's the only grappling art in history where people are fighting to be on bottom. Yeah. No other <laughs> grappling art. There are many of them out there, you know. Is anyone fighting to be on bottom? We're so unusual. And I've had this discussion with IBJJF before because I've always believed, like, guard pulling, like, sh it should be a penalty. Like, if you're double, if you're pulling, it's like you got to be rewarded a guy for, you know, for being on top because the bottom guy gave up on the stand-up fight. Uh -huh. And very few people agree with me. That's my personal opinion. But IBJJF argument was like, but, Rob, people like that. Like, people love, like, the fact that they can pull guard. And, like... Yeah, I, I get it. There's there's a logic behind it. It does make the sport very interesting in the sense where it doesn't make it a wrestling match like like you know it, it, like most grappling arts are. One thing that I think as well, Robert, like the point is that the beauty of the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu is that we are the only martial arts that we can fight from the back of the ground. Yes, yes so that's, that's unusual, why yeah. you know it sh if you go, it, would, it should give the opportunity for the guys to choose to fight from the ground because that's yeah. what we are unique for yeah. everything else. You know, absolutely. And it's created an entire new world of possibilities that you don't see in other grappling arts. Like, you just don't, it's, I don't, I mean, yes, there's plenty of techniques in other grappling arts, but I can't think of a grappling art that is, that has, like, such a huge library yeah, of so moves as Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. I don't, I mean, I'm biased here, of course, but, like, I don't, I can't think, I can't imagine wrestling or judo has the same arsenal that Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu has. We spend a lot of time there, that's why. Well, not just from the back in general, right? It's just, like, it's, there's, there's a lot, the a lot bolo, of The bolo by Mateus. Can he get on well, top? He's getting a very good advantage point here. So Johnny is up by one advantage. They both have well, two negatives. Get a sweep. Beautiful, beautiful sweep. Beautiful. That was a beautiful um, approach on the bit of ball. Got, got Johnny on just on the right timing for the sweep. Because, man, I'm telling you, to get a burning ball of someone like uh, Johnny. Because that's his thing. It's yeah. his thing. Yeah. You know? It was such a big timing. So... 
basically what's going on here is we're about halfway through this match. Uh, Gianni is up by one advantage, but he's down by two points, meaning they both understand what's happening. Gianni needs to score two and turn this around. If he sweeps him too soon, he gives uh, Matheus Gabriel the chance to recover and, you know, go back to exactly where they are right now. So does Gianni want to sweep right now is the question. Yeah, that's the thing. Well, Gianni, in a, if you, in, in a statistical way, Gianni is kind of in a kind of advantage here, right? Because he already has pretty much the, the sweep set up there. He's just waiting for the right time to apply when he wants. Really. As we also, it's going to be most likely for Gianni to sweep than yes. uh, uh, Matteo to Absolutely. pass. Absolutely. Yeah. So, yeah. Here we go. See, it's so, it's and so he's, good. He's been looking for that, that, that pant grip again at the bottom. I think uh, Matteo's Gabriel understands what's happening, and he almost prefers to be on bottom for now. Right, and I think that every it's a very common tactic in this weight class. Yeah, it's the kind of you know, if you have that 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 sweep that you feel like I can get the sweep anytime I want, I'll hold off to the last 20 seconds. And the reason that they're going to be playing up and down is because they already have two uh penalties, Correct. so we cannot stay too long in the same spot because they yes. might be disqualified, you know. So yeah. they have to be blamed the right the timing, but they the have way, to leave 30 seconds left with whoever can sweep. Props to IBJJF. This has been a long held criticism against IBJJF. There's a lot of stalling in this rule set, right? And I think they've solved that problem dramatically. I think there's very little stalling these days in IBJJF rules. And, you know, you have to applaud the referees and IBJJF leadership for this because I feel like they solved one of the biggest problems in jiu-jitsu. They solved. They had the penalties are warranted. They're giving them left, right, and center. People are getting disqualified for stalling. I love that. It is making the matches far more dynamic and exciting to watch. Gianni looking for that leg drag. Wow, also, Matheus for the leg drag to the deep half rod. Yeah. Spin to the kiss of the dragon, 50 50. My Gianni goodness, Apollo like Apollo too many Apollo things going on there. Very exciting match so far. Gianni up, up by two. That call a grip by Gianni is a very important grip so he can keep Keeps the, him in front the of lead. Him. Yeah. It's, it's a funny grip to this underneath his leg. It stops him from chasing the back. Is that correct, Braulio? Yes. Yeah. That stops him and then gives the possibility of him like to come back up. Yes. But uh, the position that uh, Matheus has above Gianni's arm, put Gianni's, get, he gets stuck. Basically, Gianni's just stopping. He needs to free his right leg to be able to see. He needs to free that right leg. That leg. Oh, see? Oh, beautiful. But see, th this could be good for um, Matheus Gabriel because... It's a tough position to get swept in here now. Like he can actually hold that for the rest of the fight. Yeah. But then it comes down to the well, risk of the penalty. You know, it's well, like but three yeah. minutes. It's a little yeah, bit risky. But, look, if Matteo Gabriel, uh, Gabriel is a smart competitor, and I think he is. So far, he's shown to be a very intelligent competitor. He might See, be able to get around that by attacking. Move, try to get the uh, a punish on that, right? Yeah, gianni has got to show the ref that like, I want this more. and Because this, this could be a stalemate unless one of them really switches gears and I think it's it, the ball is kind of Gianni's court now because he's got two and a half minutes to switch gears and make this happen. Maybe Matos Gabriel should be looking for that grip probably the one that Gianni had on his collar. Like he doesn't have that same grip. He like doesn't G have. Yeah so Gianni might be able to get to his back. It, there yeah. we go. Yeah. Looks like he's got it. Yeah. And so Gabriel with the recovery. Go Gabriel, like Matos out. Gabriel with the recovery. D-bar. D-bar. That could be bad for Matheus Gabriel. Two Oops. minutes left. He's going to lose that for the strength. Oh, we got that on the bunch for it. Very impressive performance by Matheus Gabriel. I think Gianni walked into this fight as a favorite. But this may, may go Matheus Gabriel's way. We got just under two minutes left. Can Gianni sweep? I love how these matches are decided at the end. It makes it so much more exciting. It's too. so tight. Like the last 30 seconds, you know, there's more action the last 30 seconds of the entire match, it seems like. It just doesn't stop. This always goes up until that, you know? Yeah. And it's crazy because they, they, they rarely make mistakes. So it's always, everyone can equally sweep each other at the same kind of level. Yes. So what happens is, is whoever sweeps last wins. <laughs> yes. That's the catch. On Matthew, Minute 40, Matthews Gabriel 
so far up by points, down by advantages, which makes, you know, it's just the stakes are so much higher here. And, you know, Jenny really struggling to get on top. Mateus Gabriel shutting him off. But, like, he's exposing the back as he shuts him off. Like, can he? See? And this is where I think Johnny might be able to turn this around. Good balance by Mateus Gabriel. They're just, Very good. Yeah. He's defending well. It's all about depending how much he can keep that grip on the pants close to his hips. If he keeps yeah. pulling that isometric uh, console, so, and, it'll and be hard. They serve similar purposes. Like Gianni had that hand on the collar. He's got that, pant, that grip on the pants, which pulls Gianni the off up. the ground yeah. anytime he feels in So danger. he cannot start. Exactly. You know, when the hip is out of the floor, he cannot kind of use it. Now it's whoever can handle that grip. The, opa! Oh, it, it's such a speed. 40 seconds left. Can Gianni? Gianni has to get, get everything that out. sweep. He switches guards. This might be good for Gianni, though. He needed yeah. a change. Yeah, he has he, 30 seconds, which is yeah. enough time for him to go for the sweep. And then uh, Matheus does have grips control. Oh, beautiful transition by Gianni. Good recovery. Wow. He moves so well. Brother, I'm very impressed with Matheus Gabriel's balance. Hey, it's 20 seconds. His balance has been incredible throughout this and fight. Now it's about the composure. Do you have going to have a composure yeah. by Gianni or not? But he, Matheus got to go more aggressive, though. He's a little too defensive, I feel like. 10 seconds. He has to go now. Oh, Matheus got it, mate. You can tell by the face of Gianni. He's so confident. Look at him. He's yeah. just like, I got this. I'm He's not gone. going anywhere. He's gone. Wow. Impressive. Wow. Impressive. Beautiful performance. And Matheus Gabriel took out one of the favorites, the, right? The, what I, what I like, Grippo, yeah. what I like about uh, Matheus was that he he held the tightness on the 55th up yes. until he couldn't hold the control anymore. As soon as he held control, he let it go and he spin with it, follow the movement yes. of Gianni to be able to Gianni pass the point. And, so and, all the time Gianni and, was passing the point. Brother, tell me about that balance. It's crazy. What was that? What's up with that balance? It's a lack of bringing. <laughs> yeah. Impressive, very balance, core power, you know, control, and and calm. It's composure. Yes, you know. As soon as I saw Gianni rushing, like, kind of, uh, you know, try to catching flies out of nowhere. It's, it's difficult. It's hard, especially Man's thirty seconds left. Final, representing Tech Man, Mateo Gabriel.